Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick video on how I made these cute camp light buckets. These are a great way to light up your campsite and your trailer and I'm so excited to share these with you. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need some buckets. You can find these five gallon white buckets at Winco, Home Depot, Walmart. Uh, I wasn't able to find the white lids anywhere because they were sold out everywhere that I was looking for them. The puck lights you can find on Amazon. I'm gonna have links to those down in the description box as well as all these other products that I have listed in this video. Um, these work out to be about $11.57 per bucket. So it's a pretty cheap, fun little project to do. You guys could probably find these items for even cheaper. This is just what mine came out to be. So first thing you wanna do is remove all these decals from the bucket. And I found the easy way to do this is with my heat gun. And I just get the decal pretty dang hot. Obviously you don't wanna get it so hot that you melt your bucket, um, but just apply some heat on it. And then I used my craft knife to kind of lift up the edge of the decal and it peeled right off. For some of the more stubborn areas, I did use a little bit of Goo Gone and some rubbing alcohol. Um, and then, you know, once you get all the decals removed from your bucket, you'll want to clean the whole thing down with some rubbing alcohol. Making sure that you have a clean surface is going to help your uh, a vinyl decal to properly adhere to the side of the bucket. All right, so now that I got my bucket all cleaned up and ready to put on my decal, I found my decals from Bear Trends Digi Designs uh, Etsy shop, and I just think these bucket designs are super cute. She designed these specifically for camp buckets. The proportions are perfect. The designs are super cute, and I just absolutely love how these looked. I ended up getting three different ones because I couldn't make up my mind, and I just, I think they're perfect. Anyway, so you're going to get these loaded into Cricut Design Space. You'll want to select the whole image and make sure it's attached so it cuts all in one because we're only going to use one color for this whole decal. And then I resized it to 8.5 inches tall with the size proportion lock on. So I think it came out to be about 7 inches wide, I'm not sure. And then I just cut this with Oracle 651 black vinyl. Uh, for three buckets, I only used about a little over 24 inches of vinyl, so not too much. And then you're just gonna weed the decal and put it on like you would any other project, only with this larger decal, I did have to stabilize my transfer tape You'll see what I mean by that here in a minute because anytime you're transferring such a large decal, I don't know about you guys, but I really struggle with um, getting my transfer tape on there evenly without any kind of wrinkles. So what I did was I just secured part of my transfer tape to the table and kind of used the hinge method to apply my transfer tape to the decal. So here you'll see I have like a little bit of overlap on my transfer tape that I'm going to secure to my table. And while that's secured, I'm going to slowly lift up the transfer tape and apply it to my decal just a small bit at a time. Uh, that way my transfer tape won't wrinkle over that larger decal. All 
All right, so my decal is ready to put on the bucket. I just kind of slapped it on there. Um, my motto, measure twice, cut once. So make sure you have it nice and even before you apply it on there. Uh, and then you just put it on your bucket like you would any other decal, obviously. Uh, and then with your transfer tape, try and peel your transfer tape off as close to the bucket as possible. And this will help um, kind of eliminate some of those bubbles or pulling up on the vinyl that you might get if you were just to pull straight up with that transfer tape. One question I get a lot is what kind of transfer tape I use. So I will definitely have it linked down in the description box below. Make sure you save that sheet of transfer tape because you can use it on your next bucket. So now for the puck lights, I already put the batteries in these. You do need to put AAA batteries in these. I buy mine from Costco. And the set that I'm gonna have linked below is a set of three lights for $14.67. And they all three come with their own remote. You can control all three from one remote as long as they're all within range of that remote, or you can control all three separately with three different remotes, which is what we kind of ended up doing. Anyway, I'm going to attach my lights to the bucket using these little Velcro dots. You could use large sheets of Velcro. This just happened to be what I have on hand. I am gonna prep the back of my puck light with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel just to make sure that my Velcro dot adhesive will stick nicely. I'm also going to prep the inside of my bucket with rubbing alcohol as well. All right, so next I'm gonna apply my Velcro dots. I'm gonna apply the softer side of the Velcro to the puck light itself. And then the harder side of the Velcro is what will be applied to the actual bucket since that's the strongest side. I applied five dots to the puck light and then I applied the opposite side of the Velcro uh, to the puck light with the sticky side up before I put it in the bucket so that the sides match up perfectly. And then you're just going to firmly press the puck light down into the bottom of the bucket right over that little bump in the center. You could use like a large sheet of Velcro if you have that instead. I just happen to have these little dots on hand and I thought they worked out fine. Once it's in there, it's in there really good. You can unscrew it while it's Velcroed and everything. These lights are submersible, so if you don't get the lids and you're worried about rain, it'll do okay in the rain. The remotes, however, will not, so make sure you do not leave those remotes outside. I am going to Velcro the remote to the bucket so I can keep track of them. This came in really handy on our trip so that we didn't lose the remotes. Again, where we were, it wasn't rainy, so I wasn't worried about having lids on these. I just, the remotes were kind of acting funky after I left them outside all night. So just make sure you don't leave those remotes out. So I'm just applying another Velcro dot to the remote, and then I'll apply another one to the inside of the bucket. That way I could just keep everything together and not worry about losing it. All right, and that was it. So this was such a fun and easy project. My kids loved having these at our campsite. It was a great addition to our trailer. Everyone who stopped by thought they were so much fun. We got so many compliments. Uh, you guys, if you end up making these, make sure you tag me on your trip pictures so I can see because I just think these are so cute. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and we will see you soon. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.